Hello everybody, my name is Jerry Yasser and I'm a SharePoint Server MVP. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can create sites in SharePoint. But before uh, we go into details, let's take a quick look at uh, the logical architecture of SharePoint 2010. Basically, a uh, logical architecture contains many things, but I have just uh, filtered out some very important things that you have to know before you start developing uh, creating sites uh, or uh, using SharePoint 2010. The first thing is a server farm. A server farm is uh, the top level element of any SharePoint environment. It's, an, it's uh, basically an environment consists of one or many servers and each server in this environment is playing a certain role. Uh, the server can be a front-end server, the server can be uh, an application server doing a certain job or it can be a database server. The second level of the logical architecture of SharePoint is the web application. A web application is basically the storage point for SharePoint. You create a web application just like you create an IS website. And I, a SharePoint web application contains a database which can consist of one or many sites. Web application is simply a container of site collections. Um, a web application normally has a, a one or many content uh, databases uh, where all the SharePoint related data is stored. A new element in the logical architecture of SharePoint is called service applications. A service application is basically a functionality which is shared um, between web applications in a server farm. Uh, but it can be the same uh, one server farm uh, or it can be shared across the server farm. It means that, you know, for example, if you want to use a search functionality in SharePoint and you have a search service application installed in your farm and you have another farm running in, your same, in another environment in your company, what you can do is to share the service application uh, with that farm. So this means uh, you can reuse your applications there. This is basically the replacement of shared services provider in Microsoft uh, SharePoint Server 2007. Site collection is basically uh, a site which can consist of one or more um, sites but always have a root site. Basically um, it is nothing more than a container of sites. So whenever you uh, create a site collection it means it, or it will always have a root site rather and everything that you store is basically stored in a site. This means that you, um, the site collection itself is just uh, a place where you are storing certain settings. So um, before we go into uh, the, the, you know, creating sites, let's go ahead and look at the server farm architecture. And uh, in this demo, I'll show you how you can go through the, the central administration to find uh, all of the things that we have talked about. So this is my uh, SharePoint, um, the SharePoint central administration site hosted at CloudShare on the web, Manage Web Applications link. And you will find out uh, the web application that exists on this server. So let's go ahead and create an, your own first web application. So all you have to do is uh, just to click on the new menu and it will open up the, the, the new web application creation page or uh, dialog. Now uh, here you have, to, you have to enter some information. The first uh, information uh, or first section is called authentication. Authentication in this is there are two types of authentication that you can select. If you are creating this web application to be used in your intranet environment where you will use Windows authentication, you will use classic mode authentication. But if you have any plans of moving your uh, authentication to something like form-based authentication, a custom LDAP authentication, or even, or you can also use Active Directory or LDAP server for using claim-based authentication. So that's a decision that you have to take here. For this demo, let's take uh, leave it to classic mode authentication. The next thing is the IS website section. As I told you earlier, the SharePoint first creates an IS website on a certain port. So here you will enter a port number. So I'll we'll enter for example 82. Uh, then you have to, you if you want, you can enter a host header. The host header can be an A name entry in, um, uh, you know, a C name or A name entry in, um, in DNS 
or it can be host file entry so it's up to you if you if you are developing it for your own development environment you can put it in the host file for your ease then another important thing is look at the path so all the SharePoint web applications stores all the data in C, INET pub, root, WSS virtual directory and then the port number you can change if you want but for this demo let's uh, leave it as default Another section is security configuration. Either you want to use Negotiate as an authentication provider and DLM. You want to allow anonymous, yes or no, or you are interested in setting up SSL for this site or not, for this web application. Thing is public URL. Uh, this is how this, the, the URL of the site will look like. This is very important when you are creating a site and you have multiple front end. We will look into this thing uh, sometime, uh, uh, some other time, but for now, let's leave it as default. The application pool is basically uh, responsible for um, executing the actual application. So you, uh, this, for this demo, you you have two options. Either you can create a new application pool or you can use an existing application pool. So, um, you know, for the demo purpose, let me use an existing application pool uh, to save some performance. But before I do that, just remember, the more application pools you have, the more load will be on your server because each application pool will, will require memory and performance from the server. So for the developer environment, it's always better to have um, less um, application. Now, next section is to enter the database uh, information. As I told you that web application by default have one database. So here I will add a database name and I'll enter Re, uh, change it as from GUID to 82 so that I can uh, easily identify it. Uh, if you want to use failover, uh, you, know, you know, you can enter the failover server. This is new in SharePoint 2010, uh, but it, it does not do anything other than, you know, uh, creating the database for you. Uh, next thing is the service application connection. This is what I showed you, uh, told you earlier that service application is a piece of functionality that you can share. So here you can see that I can choose, I have an option to either use all of the service applications or I can set it to custom and then I can choose that this applic web application you can do is to choose what this web application will be using. So let's say that this web application will only use access services and it will use for example a uh, state service or uh, let's say word viewing service or visiographic service it will not use user profile etc so you can uh, this is this gives you great flexibility um, as compared to the shared services provider model which was in SharePoint 2007 so let's click on OK for the for now and what will happen now that SharePoint will first create a nice website then it will create a database in, in the SQL server. So our, our web application has been created. So uh, the first, the next step is, is to go and create a new site collection. So um, let's go ahead and quickly create a site collection. And then in the next demo, I'm going to show you uh, the different uh, site, uh, the, the different types of sites available in SharePoint uh, 2010. So let's create my first uh, site collection. And for now on, simply enter the primary administrator and let's click OK. So here we can see that, that our uh, site collection has been created successfully. So let's uh, browse it for now and let's click OK. So within a few seconds you will see that uh, our, our first theme site has been created. Now you can see that our site collection has been created. So in, in uh, that's about it. In this uh, short uh, demo, we have seen that uh, how we can create a new web application and then we can how we can create um, our site collection on it. But other than that, if you want to see your service applications that are uh, that are created in your SharePoint environment, all you can do is to go to uh, application management and then click on manage service applications. Uh, this link will take you to a place which consists all your service applications uh, that has been created so we'll look at each service application uh, in future so that's it for now thank you very much